So Scorpio, you know, delusion, delusional might not be the best word. So um, let's kind of be easy on this person. Uh, let's be easy on this person. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. This is your general, your general love reading for March. Gonna take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped, if you look in the description bar below you'll see it says start reading. If you click on that, then it will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. And this section is really for those that uh, just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there sometimes, you know, could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish laying these cards. Okay, so I'm going to take these in and I'll be back. So Scorpio, let's start the reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up. Does this be your side, the person that you're dealing with over here? But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, I just wanted to clarify uh, just this card here as well while I'm, I'm starting simply because I feel like just looking at the past, when it comes to this person, I'm not sure whether they're, they're definitely more ahead of the game than you are in terms of just their emotions um, with the ace of cups there. But um, I wanted to just check something. Just wanted to check something. Transformation with the death card. These are beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to death card here. So this person was, you know, is, is and this is, again, the past. This person was definitely ahead of the game in terms of how they feel, their emotions towards you. We're talking borderline in love um, with the ace card here. And then we've got the death card on top of that. So this person, I feel like you've had an impact on them in some way. Maybe there was some, maybe they're kind of transitioning from one chapter of their life or one state of their life to another with the death card on top of that. But it seems like they was putting in work, really putting in work, 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 work not bringing it to its full potential but really just focusing on putting in work when it comes to you however there's something that caused you to change your mind about this person and give them uh, maybe an opportunity or a chance with you but still with that is this waiting is this waiting for something to happen waiting for something to come in um yeah i feel like this person has finally or finally persuaded you or swayed you to give them a chance and that's what you was kind of do it just bringing it <laughs> i do both those guys just bringing it to where it is currently at the moment we've got the magician which talks about having all the tools and the resources to make something happen to bring something into manifestation and this is the current state so this connection actually which might surprise you has all the tools uh scorpio in order for it to just blossom into something but you're not happy about something again i feel like this person does something does something to rub you up the wrong way show it up as the five a bit prickly with them now, prickly might be an understatement really but there is this um i don't know there's something that causes you to be a bit snappy and a bit with 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 this person as much as they're showing up as the ace you know just nothing but care and you know all of that type of thing i'm not sure whether i'm not sure yeah there's something that's causing you 
judgment. Looking at your challenge, we've got the judgment card here. You're judging them. You're judging them in some way, their actions. Um, maybe you think they moved too fast or got into this space too fast, so maybe you think it's not genuine. But I can say just based on their spread, it's definitely genuine. But there's judgment there for you, which is kind of preventing you from seeing this moving any further. It's like, mm -mm, no, um, I'm kind of going to back out of this just based on what you're wanting. But yeah, there's judgment towards their actions. I tell you something, you've had some form of impact on this person. You've There's been some huge transformation on a, a death of something in order for there to be a rebirth of something in terms of their, not sure whether it's their life, that just internally, maybe certain beliefs, but there's a, definitely a transformation. You cause an impact, but that's what's kind of blinding this person. It's like they've got rose colored glasses on with the sun and the nine. And that's in their challenge. So that, to me, represents uh, that getting in the way, ultimately. Um, you know, they're, they're kind of seeing things the way they want to see them and not the way they are, if that makes sense. And I know that's kind of, you know, when you're looking to, you know, manifest something or bring something into fruition, you want to visualize and live in the end result, so to speak. But that end result needs to make sense to you. It needs to click and be logical to you. And I just feel like, because if it's not, that's where delusion comes in. That's where, you know, pretending that, put 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 in a, a, a smiley sticker face on, on something that, yeah, it, it hopefully, you know where I'm going with that. It's not, you know, it's, we're, we're heading into delusional world there. Um, and that's what's, what their challenge is. You know, they see... But what you've done, what you've said, whatever has caused this, has caused them to, I feel like that's contributed to this, you know, this positive impact that they feel you have on their life and just the emotional happiness that they have in terms of what they're wanting. Now, they've made a decision on this and it's like they recognize, they acknowledge that this is not gotten to a point where you're, you know, it's you're in something established is established but they're gonna wait they're gonna wait because they feel this connection they feel this um this attraction let's say that we've got a lover's card there they feel this attraction towards you so they're gonna wait for something there's something that they're gonna wait for maybe the right time in uh, something around around that where for you for you We've got the Three of Cups there and we have the Page of Pentacles. So you're looking to shoot off into another direction, ultimately. I feel like someone has already, some something or someone, because this doesn't necessarily have to represent a person. It could represent uh, just a, an interference, a third energy that you're emotionally um, drawn towards. But yeah, you're only kind of, feeling that already maybe they're in the picture maybe it's in the picture already but you're wanting to shoot off in to another direction you're not feeling this thing that's happening here with this person i'm not sure why uh we usually will take a look at that in the extended part of the reading uh, which i will be implementing soon guys but as it stands it's like not feeling this this person has moved quick but i feel like the impact you've had on them in some way which has caused a huge transformation Maybe they've not come across someone that they felt this way before in a while or ever. Maybe that's where that transformation is coming from. But there is some form of impact you've had um, in terms of a change for them. So, uh, as I like to say, be easy on this person. All right. So just um, for those of you who don't, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. That's something that interests you as they say subscribe to my youtube channel other than that have a beautiful beautiful day and i shall see you next week bye hello query welcome to my channel welcome back to uh my channel for some of you guys some of you guys are doing well this is your general love reading for uh march we're gonna take a look and see who's showing up in your reading see what they're thinking and uh feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well 
feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is timestamp. So the uh, link should be in the description bar below. It should say start reading. Just click on that. Uh, and it should bring you to the start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, but then pick up on your story, stick around as there's sometimes, you know, sometimes could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And uh, of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So just give me a moment to just finish playing these cards I'm going to take these in and I'll be back so Aquarius let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side the person that you're dealing with over here but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most all right, so just looking at the past, there was an ending um, around this, within this connection. Aries, there was an ending initiated by this person. Not sure, I want to pull on that judgment because there was some sort of judgment there that they did have. Um, yeah, there's we got nine there. You guys can see these cute little cars. Uh, there's some, there was some judgment that this person had towards you, what you had done or something that happened around this connection. Even though maybe in the past, this person tried to hang on to this as well, but it kept going on. So there was, a, I feel like this is something that was continuing to happen. And this person just got to a point where they needed to release. I say release simply because of the remaining cards that show up here. But I feel like this eight of cups is more about them wanting to just get away to breathe. It feels like this unbeknownst to them, mind you. But there was just this feeling of, okay, I need to, to get away from this. So maybe how they ended thing wasn't to the best of, uh, you know, their judgment. Uh, maybe they sh could have done things a bit better. Maybe they left things undone, didn't really respond, maybe sent it through text, whatever the case may be. But it seems like there was some form of um, just messy, left, leaving things a bit messy where you was trying to maybe get this back and find a solution to this ending that this person sprung on you with the 10 right there. So definitely an ending around this, which has brought it to where it is at the moment, which is Hangman. Hangman speaks about, you know, being stuck, um, not moving forward. So there... There is definitely in the space where this it's not moving forward. It's it's remaining still. So maybe you guys have not spoken to each other for a bit, for a while. No communication. Uh, if there has been, I doubt there's been any though. But if there has been, it's very uh, minimal communication. And you're just kind of focusing on everything that had gone wrong. It's like you're consumed by the past and what happened and what didn't go right. And you're the part you played in and. It's focusing on all the cups that have been spilled over. Not seeing the one remaining cup. The focus is very much not on that silver line it um, when it comes to the four. And that silver line is this person's knowledge and wisdom that they've gained somehow. And I'm not sure whether that's through. I don't feel like it's more to do with them coming to this realization or this epiphany or this uh, knowledge through them having some time apart. I feel like maybe they've spoken to others, uh, they've seek counsel, that type of thing, and with that, they've gained some form of understanding, some form of knowledge, and, and now they're sitting in more wisdom than they had done in the past, which is causing them to drink their own... How do I put that? The, face some truths. There we go. Uh, face some truths about their actions and about how they contribute to things in this relationship and 
maybe how they could have handled this a lot better and gotten a, a different response. But there's definitely some knowledge which they picked up through others or an establishment, uh, through some form of counsel, and they're facing their truth. They're in the process of uh, facing their truth. Yeah, hearing what it's like. It's like a mirror being. Uh, placed up to their face and they're looking at their reflection and they're seeing the truth about who they are, how they are, how they respond, how they act, uh, the situation at hand when it comes to you. And there is this truth. There is this acknowledgement, let's say that. There is this acknowledgement of the how do I express that? The impact that you've had on their life. Like this is, this, the sum for me always represents, you know, a positive impact on something. So um, when it comes to this being in a challenge position, it's this recognition of them, you being in a positive impact in their life in some way, shape or form. But this is in their challenge and it's, they're missing that. It's like they miss that with this home truth, with this knowledge, this wisdom, that falls into it. It's like, I've missed that. I missed that about this person. If that makes sense. They missed that lesson. They missed that observation. They missed that insight around this. Yeah. For you, like I said, it's going back to this focusing on what happened, what went wrong, uh, because your challenge is, is not recognizing the fact that you have laid some form of foundation with this person. You've got history. There's been experience there that, you know, there's weight behind uh, this relationship when it comes to, to you. But again, it's this not acknowledging anything outside of what you feel you've done or what you feel has happened. You know, there's it lots of sleep, sleepless nights, unable to maybe think unable to focus, concentrate throughout your day, that type of thing, stressing, worrying. And that is, obs ob ob what's the word I'm looking for, guys? Obscuing, obscuing your um, view of what is, you know, the, the, the truth of what is. The truth is, is that Yes, you contributed to this in some way. Yes, you wasn't perfect. No one is. The truth of the matter is, is no one is. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. We'll never be. We're always con continually evolving, uh, growing, learning. Um, so, you know, it, it is what it is. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to do things. You know, the, the, the point is don't beat yourself up about it. Acknowledge it. Um, shift it, tweak it, change it if need be. And... Give yourself a bit of grace, especially if you're coming from a point of, okay, it gets, it gets different if you know something and you continue to do it regardless of that, that new knowledge, that new found insight. But if you hadn't known it before, then what can you do? You can only do what you can do. So bear that in mind. Bear that in mind, Aquarius. Bear that in mind. We're all growing. We're all evolving. So don't, don't be so hard on yourself. But don't be too with that. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much your challenge. You're wanting to communicate with this person, but there is this feeling of um, maybe one minute you're you're sure, next minute you're not sure. There's back and forth, this indecisiveness here. However, this person, this person wants to come in. We've got the tower here. They shock you though. They're going to shock you with something, with maybe some information or something. It's going to. Uh, they know, they're fully aware that it's going to surprise you and shake up uh, things. And they're very much focused on that. There's an element of, look at the devil card there. Um, this wisdom and this, you know, acknowledgement has done something to this person. I feel like you're going to see sides of them that you hadn't maybe experienced before, simply because of this newfound knowledge and wisdom that they've come across through others through others through others so um hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity uh guys for those of you who don't know i do weekly singles and love readings if that's something that interests you as so i say subscribe to my youtube channel other than that have a beautiful beautiful day and i shall see you next week 
So uh, Gemini, you know, this person's focus is on work. That's what's taking up their time. It's work. Uh, so let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. This is your general general love reading for uh, March, we're going to take a look and see you showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is timestamp, should be in the description bar below, just click on where it says start reading and it will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. Okay, this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on camera. Okay, as I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, you got to pick up uh, on your story, stick around as there's sometimes you know, there just could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to do it. Because ultimately, we we create our own reality. Okay, so just give me a moment to just clean these head. And I will be back. So Gemini, let's start your reading and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip, switch, whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So just looking in the past, starting from the past, recent past, how far in the past, but just the past, there is this, um, for you, it felt like you were stuck. There's something around you being stuck, unable to move. Really feeling trapped as well, trapped in within your thoughts. It's like unable to escape uh, your thinking around something when it comes to this. I'm going to shed some light on that as well. It's this being really trapped. Yeah. Feel like you're wanting more, that you was wanting more. Something around you wanting something, but it's just not or was not coming about and that in itself is uh, was making you feel trapped mentally and, and very much stuck as well very much stuck I feel I feel like maybe for a lot of you or some of you there is this um of course the works in relation to this relationship in some way shape or form but it seems like it wasn't budging or you had a lot of challenges around that um yeah feeling stuck and unable to to escape. Now, that was the past theme. Yeah, that's the theme for the past for you in terms of this connection. And with this person, there was, they, they, they kind of picked up on that with the high priestess. There was this uh, intuitive or just kind of picking up on what you're going through. And they was trying to maybe very slow moving as well and, and hesitant, but trying to maybe offer you or console you or, give to you in some way but not a lot there wasn't an, an overpouring of it or that it's like I'm gonna I acknowledge this and I'm gonna give if that makes sense yeah let me just <laughs> the pay yeah they were drawn to do it um Whatever it is, whatever minor actions, big or small, they're very much drawn to do it. Like I said, this person was picking up on what you were going for, what was going on for you when it came to something around this connection. Just bringing it to where it is at the moment. There's still this pull that you both have towards each other, represented by the page. But, and I say but simply because of how you're both showing up in relation to that, which is quite interesting. You're see. I feel like this is more to do with you not being heard. I feel like you're not, you're feeling like you're not being heard or you've maybe had conversation with this person. You've expressed how you feel. You've expressed 
regarding this past working on something. I feel like it's very much tied to that. And this person is not really acknowledging that or hasn't really acknowledged that or they're not responding in the way that you would like, really. In fact, I would go so far as to say, say just based on how they're showing up, that they're, you, they're kind of responding like you're a nuisance to them or you're bothersome to them. You're interrupting or interfering them. They're frustrated. They're showing up as being frustrated. Yeah. And that's to do with what? That's to do with what? This person in their challenge position, that's to do with what? There's something around them focusing too much on work. And there's a heavy focus on work here. They're putting in work. And it's not just a nine to five type of job. And if it is, it's not just a, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not just a, I'm going to come to this work, this establishment, this organization, I'm going to put in these hours and I'm going to leave. No, it's really focusing on this type of work. Um, there's a pull uh, that they have towards it as well. I feel like it means a lot to them in some way, shape or form, but that's in their challenge. So that I feel like is the issue here amongst everything is maybe this person is spending too much time working and, and it takes away from maybe what you're trying to build, what you've already built, uh, what you've already established. And because you're wanting to, you know, address that with this person because you're wanting to express that, um, that's where this frustration is coming in. That's where this frustration is coming in. But it's leaving you feeling unheard. Um, and that's not a good feeling. Your challenge is, is making a decision. It's like, how do I get out from under this? I feel like for a lot of you, you feel like you're maybe drowned in, in your emotions. And you, you, you find it difficult to come out on top or get on top of those emotions. Um, and that comes with making a decision, which you're finding it quite difficult to make with the two there. So a decision needs to be made. You're finding that difficult. And it's to do with you being able to come uh, swim above the water, uh, come out on top and say that, and say that. Yeah. Because you're wanting to advance. You're wanting to advance, but there is this feeling of, something needs to come crashing down in order for that to happen. And I feel like maybe that's where that decision, that challenge around that decision is coming from. If I make this decision, because I do want to advance, I do want to progress, something's going to come crashing down. Yeah. <clears throat> Looking at theirs and I'm kind of processing this emperor which is a very dominant, you know, stand on your stand on business type of uh, energy. It's this, you know, headstrong and I'm the authority, I'm the leader, that type of thing. With this page, it talks about moving in a new direction, doing something different. You know, this person is very much still going to be focusing on what it seems. It seems. You know, um, I'm not sure whether this person has sprung it upon you. I'm not sure whether this person has, you know, did the bait and switch on you. But they're walking towards something and it means a lot to them. And the question is, is are you able to get this person to a point where they're able to see and acknowledge, understand, take in uh, your perspective on this, your feelings, um, and be able to come to some form of compromise, a give and take, a mutual flow, or are you able to come to some form of agreement, you know, where you're able to say, and this is just an example, uh, where you're able to say, okay, well, I'm going to give you X, Y, Z amount of time to be able to focus on this, get what you want out of this. But after that amount of time, you have to have balance. You have to be able to, um, <clears throat> create some form of give and take or um, compromise when it comes to this. I, this this work can't consume all your hours. You know, I need you here. If you have a family, it's like I need you present. I need you present. 
So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly uh, singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next. Bye. So um, Libra, you know, the saying goes, give a person an inch and they want to take a yard. Uh, this person is wanting to rush things or move things ahead very quickly when it comes to this connection. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to exactly what's going on. Hello Libra, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. This is your general, your general love reading for uh, Mark. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, so many pentacles, of course vice versa as well. Uh, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is timestamp. Just click on the um, link in the description bar below and it will throw you to the start. <laughs> this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this, oops, if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there's sometimes could be messages throughout that just, you know, jump out and speak to you. And of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish laying this card. Okay, so I'm going to take this in. And I'll be back. So Nibra, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. And picking up, does this be your side, the person that you're dealing with over here? But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So just looking at the past, I feel like you're dealing with someone who has a very strong, strong character represented by the emperor. Um, maybe there could be a fire sign in Aries. But very, maybe a dominant, uh, this could be uh, just their position in life, in their, their role in maybe their work, but very much an authoritative type of person here. They're wanting, and this is the past again, they're wanting to uh, come together in some way, collaborate in some way, relationship, whatever the case may be. They wanted to come together in some way. I feel like you had perhaps some time to think about this though. I feel like you needed to process how exactly, you know, maybe this was going to work or that was going to work. You coming together with this person. Um, yeah, do you see that with the Ten of Pentacles there? And actually having something, it, it actually turning out the way you would like it to turn out. I feel like maybe that has to do with this dominant type of energy that this person has. However, it feels like you came to some form of strategy or plan around that maybe I, okay so i get the sense of you know when something just i do apologize guys i'm kind of been recovering from some sort of sore throat um you know when you what was i going to say what was i going to say queen <clears throat> you know when you're ah there we go you know, when you're, you're finding it quite difficult to figure out how something's going to turn out and then it kind of clicks for you. You can see it. You can um, know how it's going to work. It's that type of thing. It's like, okay, I know how this can work now. So now I'm ready to move ahead. And that was done very quickly. It's like you rushed to it. But you had to wait for that information in order for you to be able to do that. Which brings you both to where you stand at the moment. There's the ace, which talks about building. So you're going to build it something here. You're establishing something. This person is very much given. It could be a business. Got so many coins. Could be a business uh, that you both had, have decided to start. Could be just you building and starting a life together. 
Uh, but there is this beginning of something here, this building of something here. This person is providing a lot of maybe finances. If it's not finances, it's support, it's advice. It's something that they're given a lot of because they have a lot to give. Mm, resources. And that giving is having an impact on your life. So again, if this is a financial situation, then this person has, you know, they're able to financially kind of support you and help you out. Let's say that because they've established financial, a certain level of finan financial maybe freedom there. Uh, but again, this could be just resources, knowledge, time, etc. But that given is having some form of impact. Uh, there's a change here. That's its cause. Uh, a small change, but a change nevertheless. With that change, though, for you comes this challenge, which is putting something to rest. There's something that needs to end that you've not ended yet. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It could be anything. There's confusion around that as well. But that's in your challenge position. So for me, that says in order for this to progress, in order for this to uh, continue to move in the direction that it's currently moving in, this, whatever this is, needs to end. There's an ending that needs to happen. There's a need to, it, that could be with someone. It could be just a lifestyle. It could be, it's just putting something to end. Something that maybe has been in your life for a while. Maybe something that you relied upon. It could be a belief as well, a way of thinking, habit. But it's leading to end and there's confusion around that though. There's a confusion around that for you. Not sure what that confusion is. Take it as it applies, guys. But there's uh, something that needs to end. Your person... Your person is very much fixated on this. Again, we're going back to this very dominant type of energy that they have, this emperor stance. They're very set on having this commitment. If this is marriage, if this person has spoken to you about marriage and moving in together, this type of thing, they're very set on that. But that's in their challenge. So that's an issue in the sense of their focus is too much on that. And they give, we've got the six of pentacles again, not to say that you should accept because, you know, it is what it is, but they give in order to hurry that along or support that in moving along to this higher commitment that they're wanting. Very much wanting. It's like they're putting in that work. <laughs> they're, they're putting in that work. But again, it's in their challenge position. So that's, that's, that's a, a slight problem for them. It's like slow down. Because especially if you've got something that you're still needing to work on ending, it's like slow down, you know, we, we don't need to rush here, but this person is so ready. They're just ready to, I would go so far as to say, if this person, you know, let's, let's drive off to wherever and get married, let's tie the knot, let's do a kind of shotgun type of uh, wedding, if that's, if that's something you guys have spoken about, if, this, what, if that's what this represents for you. Where for you, it's like, yeah, I like this change. I'm appreciating this change. I'm acknowledging this change. I kind of worked out how this could, you know, I could move forward with this. However, to a degree, however, there's still certain things that I need to, you know, put to rest. So I want to go at a pace that kind of suits me. And that's where this hangman comes in. It's like, you want to put a halt because you want to digest things. You want to analyze things. You want to take things in. You want to get clarity on things, you know? Yes, you're enjoying what they're providing. Yes, they're, you know, they're doing well in that department, but still there is this acknowledgement of, I need to, I need to. Again, this person is very much, we've got this Emperor card here, and then we've got Death and the King. So this person is looking for big transformation. You know, they want instability, reliability. Person's family man or wants a family woman. You know, it's, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious about this. And I'm serious about hurrying this along, moving this along. I feel like for a lot of you, though, you might have picked up on that in the past. Hence why it took you so long to 
work out how this would happen or how this because you didn't want to be controlled it's like i don't want to be controlled by you i don't want to be hurried along i don't want to be forced i don't want to be rushed and then it's like okay i kind of i can kind of figure out how i can work this how i can uh, play this and that's when you decided to move ahead so hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity guys um yeah yeah hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity for those of you who don't know i do weekly singles and love readings if that's something that interests you as i say subscribe to my youtube channel other than that have a beautiful beautiful day and i shall see you next week you know pisces choosing the right time to communicate this with this person is extremely important here it is very important here so let's start your reading and i'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on hello pisces welcome to my channel welcome back to uh my channel for some of you guys hope you guys are doing well this is your general love reading for uh, March. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. Uh, the link is in the description bar below. Just click on start reading and it will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there's sometimes, you know, could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately we, we create not own reality. So give me a moment to just finish saying these. Okay, so just give me a moment to take these in and I'll so Pisces, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up. Does this be your side, the person that you're dealing with over here? But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, all right. So just looking at the past. All right. It seems like there was a nice foundation that was built here between the both of you. We've got the Empress card here in the middle. It feels like maybe this could be someone that you started a family with or built something with, buffed something with. Um, but... Mm. Yeah, I feel like this is because you do have the six there. I feel like this is either a long term relationship. I feel like for a lot of you, this is a long term relationship. For some of you, it could be even going so far back as being childhood sweethearts, that type of thing. Um, so therefore, you kind of maybe start family, have a family together. Or this person is extremely and or this person is very nurturing towards you. A lot of passion, a lot of desire when it comes to them towards you and you towards them as well there's a, a, a pull a strong pull uh towards this person a strong attraction someone that you've been with for a while or someone that you feel you can be with for a while is that type of thing very different and very interesting to where it is now pisces which is this um feels like you both you both are at different ends of the formula so to speak two different ends of the line let's say you're thinking about one thing. You're thinking about something in one way. And this person is thinking about uh, the same thing in another way. It feels like there's opposition there. There's definitely opposition in terms of what you stand for, what this person stands for. I feel like they're being very protective of something. And you're kind of adamant about doing something or standing on something. Uh, Pisces. And it's to do with some form of change because you're showing up as the five. So there's... I feel like maybe you're standing for you wanting to do something or indulge in something that maybe you want to do and this person is, is saying no or standing their ground or something. It's like they're protecting, very much protecting. Their stance is they're trying to protect this relationship in some way. 
shape or form, but you're kind of not really seeing that. So you're kind of in this, you, you've done something which has created some form of change and this person is shocked. It, he's shocked. It's like you've gone ahead and done it anyway, that type of setup. It's, it's like this person advised you not to or even try to protect you from doing it, but you still got along and, and, and did it anyway. And this person is shocked, you know, distraught. More so shocked. It's like, really? You actually went and did that. Look what you've caused and look what you're about to cause. And, you know, I'm going to say Pisces, they're kind of not wrong. It feels like just looking at your challenge. seems like you jeopardized this relationship in some way because, you know, the truth of the matter is, is this person and what you've built together has had a huge impact, a positive impact on your life. You know, there's emotional fulfillment or you created some form of emotional fulfillment here but this is in your challenge which to me says you've kind of jeopardized that based on the move that you did whatever action you've taken whatever this is that you were standing on that you felt you needed to maybe defend or not even so much defend but it meant hmm, okay I'm gonna ease up on you a little bit Pisces and I'm gonna say that you felt the need to do it simply because it felt right to, to you. It felt right to you. I don't feel like you took into consideration the bigger picture when you made that move. Uh, because, you know, had you have done that, then you might not have made the moves, let's say that. But you did, let's say that. And, and, and it's caused <clears throat> this person to just be shocked. We've got the tower. They're showing up as the tower. Um, it's like for them, it's like everything I've built, everything that we've built, we've established. You've kind of jeopardized, and now I, I needed to protect this, and I don't know if I can protect this with the seven there. It's like it's gone too far. Your move has made it kind of go too far. Hopefully, you guys are kind of understanding what it is that I'm, I'm, I'm picking up here, because sometimes it doesn't make sense to me, but it clearly makes sense to you guys. So that's the setup. It's like you've gone against, I'm not going to say your better judgment because it's not so much that. It's more about you having a one track mind, you focusing in on something which is, or which prevented you from seeing the bigger picture. Let's say that. If you're wanting to communicate, there's this strong um, feeling of wanting to communicate. There's something you're wanting to communicate. Pisces. I just wanted to check something now. Give me a minute. King of Swords. Yeah, I just wanted to look at that um past. <laughs> but yeah, this 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 person, you know, they kind of jeopardize not this person, it's you, Pisces. Uh, of course, unbeknownst to you, though, uh, your person is trapped. You know, it's like they, they can't get out of their own thinking. They can't believe that you did this. They can't believe that you've um, gone ahead and, 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 and made the move that you shouldn't have made. <clears throat> but there's something around a three of cups. Um, Don't feel like... <clears throat> I do apologize because I'm really recovering from this irritating sore throat type of thing that I've got going on here. I don't feel like it's a third party, meaning I don't feel like it's a person. It's just representing a third energy, an interference, something that you possibly had some form of emotional kind of tie to or attachment to in some way, shape or form. But the, the, the truth of the matter is, I mean, where do we go from here? You're wanting to communicate. This person is trapped. You know, they can't stop thinking. I'm not sure. It's, it's a really about at this stage choosing the right time to communicate with this person depending on what you're wanting to communicate because we do have that high priestess card there we do have that high priestess card there so you would know what that represents for you but just in terms of how receptive this person is going to be they might need a, bit of, a little bit of time just to process because I mean we're talking about someone who feels that what they've built over a certain amount of time has been robbed yeah, so um, that's going to take a bit for them to process. They're not processing it just yet. They're kind of just going through it still, really caught up in their head, in their thoughts about this, thinking God knows what. 
but um, right timing to communicate is important here. Extremely important here. Okay, so hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Bye. You know, Capricorn, this is this is powerful message here for you um, when it comes to just you allowing yourself to move into a space of power. Uh, so let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel. For some of you guys, some of you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for Mark. We're going to take a look and see if he's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself, and of course, vice versa. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. If you look in the description bar below, um, and you click on where it says start reading, you'll get uh, brought to the start of the reading. Okay, this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please, you know, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Thank you. <laughs> and if this isn't your story, if I don't, you know, pick up on your story, you can stick around as sometimes... There just could be messages throughout this that uh, jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we we create our own reality. Okay, so just give me a moment to finish laying this talk. Okay. So let me just take these out. So Capricorn, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay. All right. So just looking at the past, this is an interesting one um, from Capricorn simply because, you know, there's a strong attraction here. Most definitely. There's a strong attraction here. However, you're both kind of deciding what to do with this you're indecisive because you kind of see this person as someone who's already established something I feel like this person has some form of setup already uh, represented by the king so that kind of makes you feel yeah there's this indecisiveness here yes there's an attraction here yes there's a strong attraction I would say but I mean what do you do with that it's like one minute okay you kind of accept you know, the fact that, you know, there is this spark that's happened between the both of you and maybe wanting to see where it, it leads to, no judgment here. Um, but also then you feel kind of, there we go, you see that we've got the king of uh, cups here. But then again, one minute you feel that way, but then you feel another way, which is this, no, this is something that I'm not going to pursue or move forward on. It's being indecisive and that's simply because of their setup or what you deem or see as their them having something um where with them where with them they're trying to decide or was because this is the past they was trying to decide what to do how to move how to handle this there is this choice that they needed to make that they know they needed to make but it's like i'm not sure what to do simply because i'm not sure how to handle this i'm not sure how to go about you know dealing with this attraction to this person so <laughs> oh, yeah um yes i want to put in work with the eight of uh, pentacles there but how how do i go about how do i hand yeah before i move on i just want to these are just the cutest these are just the cutest cards with two of wands yeah do you see that indecisiveness on your end uh needing to make a choice 
uh, what do I cho choose? And then actually come into some form of knowing that they need to come to some form of decision with the two, the two of wands there. But bringing it to where it is now, current. Again, we've still got this strong attraction that's present there, represented by the lovers. Strong attraction. I don't feel like you both could help it. I mean, can you help the attraction that you feel towards someone? But yeah, there is this um, established attraction that you've both uh, are feeling at this time. However, you know, you're kind of plumbed, plumbed, that's not the word, plunged, there you go, plunged into a space of kind of self-pity. Again, it's this reflection on what they've got set up. You've met someone. This could be coming from a simple place of, you know, you've met someone. You've not come across someone that you have this level of attraction to in a long time. Um, but, you know, circumstances that they they have someone or they that they have some form of setup. And it's like this, you know, am I ever going to, am I, is, is it ever going to happen for me? Is it, am I ever going to meet someone who, you know, I can move forward with for ultimate. And you're right. I don't feel like this person has hidden anything. You're right. There is someone there uh, represented by the three of cups there, which is why this hasn't progressed. Looking at their challenge is like they, they, they've, they've been moving really slow on this, really slow on this, simply because they haven't had that epiphany. They've not had that click uh, going back to the king. How do I handle this? How do I move when it comes to this situation? You know, I feel like this was an unexpected type of attraction for both of you. For both of you. I don't feel like this person set out to. I don't feel like you set out to. It just kind of happened. And that's what I, I want to focus on you more so though, when it comes to this person or when it comes to this reading. Because there, there's, you know, you've got an insight into what's going on for them. Um, we'll look at and see what they're wanting in a minute. But just in terms of let's get you in check because there is some, um, you're just, you're just in a space that's not conducive to, even if you, even if you moved forward with this person, you know, okay, how do I put this? For those of you who have been listening to my readings or watching my readings over the, over this period of time, you know, I'm all about kind of bringing it back to. Uh, owning your own power, standing in that, uh, you know, and so so when 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 there is this needy type of energy or uh, attachment that kind of gets set up or we engage in, it, it happens to the best of us when it comes to relationships. Then you kind of come out of that um, that space that allows you to stand on two feet alone. Um, it's that saying of wanting to be with someone not needing to be with someone and the fact that this situation or this experience has plunged you into this space it says a lot more about where you're at and that's why I want to focus on kind of you getting yourself into a space where you feel you feel better than you do now for one but you feel more powerful you you feel more in control of the direction your life is going in when it comes to relationships, when it comes to love. See it like this, you know, when one, if one, see it like this, if, if it doesn't progress with this person, then they've just given you an idea or more of an idea of what you're now wanting. They're helping you fine tune what it is that you're wanting. You know, believe that things are going to come around for you in the sense of you having what it is that you want. I always say, you know, we have control over what it is that we want in terms of you know, visualizing and, and, and manifestation, how we get there, the journey it takes to get there, the route is not our, our work, it's not our job. We're, you know, imagine if we knew that. It takes the fun out of everything, doesn't it? So it's you holding on to a belief that I will be okay regardless. I will be okay regardless. We've got to get our power back simply because I'm blunt. I'm an Aries, so I'm going to be slightly blunt. Simply because it's just not attractive. It's not an attractive energy to, to, to be in this space anyway. And you know, I'm wanting to be there and I'm not going to, you know, allow you to sit there. So, um, your, 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 your thing is, is this confusion around this, how this is going to work out, how this is going to plan out, how this is going to go. And I get it. I get it. I get it. 
trust. But I feel like what's more, most important, and I know for some of you, you don't want to hear this at the moment, but this is something you need to hear, again, is getting back into your power. You know, if you need to get out and start exercising, eat right, do whatever it is that makes you feel good in, in order for you to raise your vibration and feel good about you. And once you start feeling good about you, you have better quality thoughts. And when you have better quality thoughts, what happens? You start to feel worthy of more. You start to believe you're able to have more. Um, and then it gets to a point where it's like, whether it's this person or someone else, it's like, whatever. If it's not this person, it is, it's not. However, we're not saying it's not. We're just saying you don't want to get tied into a space where you're needy like that. This person wants to take action. They're just not sure how to go about it or what action to take. There is acknowledgement, though. Um, and I wanted to say this first before I, I went into this. There is acknowledgement of you possibly or potentially or even having an, a positive impact in their life. And I feel like that's most probably what allowed them to see you because I feel like this they're not the type of person or the type of character to look elsewhere if they're in a relationship um, but there was something that they acknowledged when it comes to you that they saw that had or has potential to have some form of positive impact in their life in some in some big way with the sun card there they're just thinking, you know, I want to take action, but I'm just not sure what action to take. What action to take. So usually at this point, we move into the extended version of reading. We dive deeper into what's going on here, but I will be implementing that in April, guys. So look out for that. As it stands, the focus is on you, um, Capricorn. You know, take your focus off this person, get yourself into a better space. I don't want to keep going on about that. You heard me once. I'm not going to say it again. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week. Bye. So, Virgo, this person, I mean, great things are happening for you, but this person needs to come to some form of acceptance about this relationship. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. This is your general, your general love reading for March. We're going to take a look and see it's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is timestamp, uh, should be in the description bar below, it should say start reading, just click on that. And it will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. Okay. And of course, if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as sometimes, you know, there just could be messages throughout this that uh, jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we, we create our own reality. Hey. So give me a moment to just uh, finish laying this card, take them in and I will be so Virgo, let's start your reading and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So this is a kind of a simple straight to the point type of reading. So that's what I'm, how I'm going to uh, present it because I feel like there was an ending, definitely an ending, uh, looking at the past, an ending which you felt was maybe for some of you coming for a while this is something maybe you might have been mulling over for a long time um but you felt it was the right thing to do putting into this for some for some reason i feel like it has to do with maybe your career or something that you wanted to work on but definitely an ending 
around this that you instigated uh, your person of course there wasn't naturally too happy about 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 things about that um yeah feeling pessimistic you know not happy at all really about that decision that you made but it didn't deter them from still seeing you as someone that they are collaborating with in some way so as much as you would have told <laughs> yeah you've got the star club there as much as you would have told this person okay so um you know you know this relationship has come to an end i want to move on i want to kind of you know spread my wings whatever or however you presented it this person heard you uh, they took it in they weren't too happy about it but it didn't change their mindset in terms of how they still saw you they just kind of saw it as something that needed to be fixed or mended or healed with the star card there yeah just wanted to uh <laughs> yeah, do you see that? And then on top of that, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, which talks about putting work in. So, yeah, this person really didn't process or digest or accept, let's say that, accept what was being said to them, uh, which brings us to where it is now. There's still this type of supportive space that you're in. I feel like it's more so coming from this person here, because for you, it's like you're, 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 I feel like for a lot of you, you've achieved something. There's something that you'll kind of achieved, whether that's your career or whether that's maybe losing weight or just advanced in some way, but there's recognition for work that you've put in or something that you've achieved or established, represented by the queen, the queen of wands there. And again, it's this person being happy for you. You know, this person being happy for you. I feel like they're responding to you how they would respond if they were still in a relationship with you because there's still this very much, uh, there's still this uh, supportive, understanding, patient stance that they have when it comes to you. And that's simply because, let's, let's touch on you first, your focus very much is, is on what it is that you're doing, whether that's your career, whatever it is that you're uh, working on or established or you've achieved, your focus is very much on that. Uh, we've got the, the six of wands and the four in your challenge position. So, you know, yes, your success has gotten in the way of this relationship. But I feel like that's something that, you know, you, how do I put that? That's something that you're not going to mull over it too much. I feel like you've mulled over it already. Maybe there is some processing that needs to be done there with the, with the four uh, there. But I feel like for the most part, for you, it's a case of, you know, I'm enjoying where I'm at. I'm focusing on what it is that I'm doing. I'm focusing on what it is that I want to achieve. And that's represented also and mirrored by what it is that you're wanting, which is the Ten of Pentacles. So you're after something. You're after uh, a success or an achievement of something. Something that's going to have, uh, something that you feel is going to have a positive impact in your life in some way. It's going to change it in a positive way. So that's very much your focus. You know, yes, it caused you to, you know, end something with this person. But I feel like you're okay with that. The The thing is more about them. Like I said, it's like they've still got this supportive. They're still responding to you how they would not have done had they been in a relationship, an established relationship. And that's simply because this person is finding it difficult or not even maybe acknowledging that they need to come to terms with this ending and go through their process of what they need to do in order for them to embrace that star card which represents healing fixing mending um feeding their self even and actually making it a personal journey with the four making it something that's personal and not because i feel like how do i put that this person is very much it's like they heard you, but they're not really hearing you. They're still responding. They're still calling you, still giving you, you know, acting exactly how they would usually act to the best of, uh, you know, as much as they can based on how much you're allowing them to 
but it feels like their actions and what they're feeling and thinking is not really changed and that's preventing them from moving into this acceptance space and actually coming to terms with the ending of this and making it a personal journey and experience for them as well this healing this fixing this feeding of their self and that kind of reflects again on what it is that they're wanting which is to first as long we're looking to give up i mean i mean gosh they're not looking to they're just not hearing you we've got the emperor and we've got this the dying you know they want to move this forward they want to progress they want to advance this and they're looking to take the reins on it you know not accepting no for an answer it's like i'm gonna impose myself impose myself on you i'm gonna impose myself yeah on you if that makes sense it's that type of thing yeah where with you it's like well you know if i'm too busy you know achieving this and feeling good and having recognition for the what the work that i've done and where I'm at and you know basking in that it's more about this person cross watcher so um who knows what the next step is usually we'll move into the extended version of the reading and we'll look at, at that and see you know what 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 their next action is and where this kind of leads to but again April um look out for that guys but as it stands as it stands, keep doing you, just do, just keep doing you. I mean, however, this person, you know, has got some acceptance to do, some uh, surrendering, some letting go to go through. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. So cancer, you know, it's not to say that this person doesn't have an attraction towards you. They're not pulled towards you, but there is something that's stopping them. There's something that's stopping them. So let's start this reading and I'm going to explain to exactly what's going on for them. Hello, cancer. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, March. I forgot there. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself, and of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is timestamp. Okay. It should be in this description bar below. It should say start reading, so just click on that. Um, and that will bring you to the uh, beginning of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on. Okay, as I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't, you know, happen to pick up on, pick up on your story, you can always stick around as sometimes... There just could be messages that jump out and pop out and speak to you. And, uh, of course, just use this as a guide. I will say use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just take these in and I'll be back. So Cancer, let's start your reading. And, of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up. Is this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So just looking at the past, the strong attraction um, that you have towards this person, strong pull as well. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. Yeah, very much so. I mean, <laughs> I mean, how do I express that? That's consumed by the desire of wanting this person highly attracted to them along with this just pull this uh pull that you have towards this person and not to say that they didn't have it towards you they're just very much more controlled when it comes to their emotions um they're very much more logical and very much 
um, how do we put this? I need to know. It's like, I need to know. They wasn't sure there's, there was this indecisiveness going on in the past about this in some way, because this person is like, they, they kind of, the energy is more about if they want something, they'll go for it with the emperor. But they hadn't come to some form of decisions. Very much a strong character. Know what they want. Know where they go in. Know how they feel. Very much in control of their emotions. Very stoic. Um, that type of thing there. So this is the past. Bringing it to where it is at the moon. You guys think about each other. <laughs> you think about each other. Uh, when you're apart, you most definitely think about each other. In each other's thoughts, memories, emotions. Uh, you're wanting to bring this down a new path. You're wanting to continue this. You're wanting to move this along. You're wanting to, uh, yeah, move this along. Where with your person, again, it's this. I'm telling you, you're, 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 you're dealing with someone who knows what it is that they want. They go after what it is that they want. We're going back to this emperor. And go after what it is that they want. If they're sure, that's it. They just move to it. But again, it's this unsure. It's like they made a choice or they made a move. Or they put in some form of work or contributed to this in some way. But it's like, mm, it's, it's, does this have the potential? There's still that question mark around this for them. And I don't feel like it has much to do with you per se it's more about what's going on for them in terms of their challenge i feel like there is maybe this is coming from past experiences where it, they just went for a lot it was a lot of burden there they carried a lot a lot of conflict uh, a lot of uh, minor challenges my, uh, lots of conflict within their relationship so i feel like this person is cautious uh very much at what i thought it's on the tip of my tongue. Very much, uh, they definitely think before they move. They're definitely thinking before they move when it comes to this, which you might have picked up on. Because you're like, you know, let's 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 do this. I mean, you know, I'm feeling this way. You're feeling this way. Let's move this along. Um, but you're very much caught up in the attraction. <laughs> so you've got to be careful about what moves you're making with that page of pentacles, what direction you go into or what direction you go in. Uh, because I feel like a lot of it is to do with just how you're feeling, the attraction, strong attraction towards this person. Some of you, strong sexual attraction towards this person, you know? So, um, and that's in your challenge. Yeah, so the reason why this person, it's interesting because they, 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 have, they are drawn towards you. But again, we've got the hangman there. This is in their want. It's like, is coming from their past. I know it's coming from their past. I want to clarify that indecisive chariot before. Because there is this pull with the page. But we've got the hangman right there, which talks about not moving, non-movement. Yeah, do you see that indecisive about building with you? We've got the ace of pentacles. These cards are beautiful, cute. Um, my clarifying cards So yeah. Indecisive about whether they want to, could do, could could build with you, whether it could happen. And not to say that it's more about whether. They just fall. What was that? That wanted to come around. Yeah, did you see that? I knew that was wanting to come out. The four, that's the four of wands, which talks about foundation. Again, it's this building with someone, laying a foundation with someone. They're being. But this person might have gotten burnt in the past, hence why they're really, you know, this is due to experience. How they're behaving is very much due to experience. But again, we've got this hangman and the, 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 the page. So they are drawn towards you. They're just being very much, um, what's the word that I keep wanting to say, but it does not come out. Yeah. If you guys can think of the word or know the word, put it in the comment section below, please, because yeah, that's just going to bug me. You're going to do a bit of sneaking and snooping because you're just trying to think why there's judgment there. It's like, why are you not wanting to move ahead? Why are you acting like this? Why are you responding in this way? And that's why. That's why. 
The silver lining is that page, though. The silver lining is the page of being drawn towards you. So usually in the extended version of the reading, we dive into this and get a fuller picture and see where this moves to in April, guys. So look out for that. As it stands, yeah, this person, I feel like maybe patience. You've got an insight into what's going on for this person. So take that into consideration and move accordingly. So hopefully this is giving you some more clarity, uh, Cancer. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, uh, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. So serious, you know, you just got to trust that this person's able to move you guys through this turbulent time. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for uh, Mark. You're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, and vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. Okay, this section is really for those that just kind of you know, prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So if you go in the description bar below, you'll see it say start reading. Just click on that. And then it will bring you to the start of the week. As I always say, please take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, but don't pick up, you know, on your story, stick around as there sometimes could be just uh, messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to uh, support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting. Because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish fading you. No. Give me a moment to just take this in and I'll. So Sagittarius, let's start the reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay. All right. Just looking at the past, it seems like this person um, kind of persuaded you or mm, should we say persuaded? Seems like they kind of changed your mind or changed your feeling and start from your side about something um, about maybe progressing within this relationship teaming up to do something it seems like there was some form of discussion about maybe having kids because we, we do have the emperor card here or the empress card and maybe about having kids or birth in something and it seems like you kind of shifted your perspective on something on that thing and then kind of started to see this as an opportunity to create something. So it feels like this person brought something to you. Um, I feel like, again, it's for a lot of you, it could be maybe have kids or maybe start a business or do something, buff something. Um, and you kind of agree to do it. So just bring it, and this is the past, bringing it to where it is now. Seems like you kind of, you, you hmm, how do we put this? Because we do have the Empress be in this state of the current connection so it seems like you're either you kind of working together on this thing or you've kind of built this thing or established this thing if this is kids you've, you've now got kids type of thing but whatever this is representing for you Sagittarius there seems to be a lot of stress around this now as it stands that is for like you're more reliant on this person to guide this or direct this and you're kind of just you know for a lot of you sleep this night you know up at night worrying stressing and that's simply because you yeah, of course the, the situation as it stands but also you feel like you rushed into things because you trusted this person or you um, there's an element of you having this person um, kind of catch you or hold you in, in, in that sense. You trusted this person ultimately. So you kind of went in 
blinded, if that makes sense. Not literally not, maybe not crossing all the, the, the T's and dotting all the I's. It's that type of thing. You trust that this person, this person, for, for example, had a lot of knowledge. You know, they've worked in the area before, whatever the case may be. But that's what caused you to move ahead in a somewhat reckless type of way. Not seeing the full picture or not reading the full contract. It's that type of thing. Your person is stuck. It's like they've come up against a hurdle, they've come up against a challenge, and they're just not sure how to deal with it. Just not sure how to deal with it. A lot of burden here as well, a lot of frustration here. But we do have that kink. So all is not lost. I feel like this person, you know, the truth of the matter is, you know, you've got to work with... I don't feel like it was wrong to take this risk or move in this direction or establish whatever this is. I don't feel like it is wrong to. Uh, I feel like, you know, th things happen. I feel like this person just gives me this sense of being able to get you out of this or move you guys out of this situation. They're just kind of faced with a lot of burden and that's frustrating them. However, they are wanting to put a plan in action, put a plan, strategize, uh, figure out the next move, figure out how this can be fixed, figure out how to move this along uh, still a bit of burden there but again I don't feel like it's anything this person can't handle or can't manage so that can calm you a little bit uh, Sagittarius I feel like it's... you're kind of waiting very much waiting for something to happen it's like waiting it's the, I get this tapping your toes or tapping your feet waiting waiting to move in a new direction, waiting for something to change. Because whatever this is that's been built, you know, I feel like it's a good thing. I just feel like it's faced a bit of challenges. You're just as in a challenge in time at the moment. That's all. I don't feel like it's something for you to worry so much about. I, I, I just get this sense that this person has the... Yeah, do you see that? Has the tact to be able to move you guys through this yeah there might be a few bumps in the, in the road along the way but ultimately yeah I get this sense that this person is capable of doing that uh, however support would be <laughs> Sagittarius support would be nice support would be handy uh, if you are going to stress because I know sometimes you know you're a fire sign like myself we 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 you know, if you're not evolved, <laughs> they say that, then we tend to, you know, move a bit too quick sometimes on our emotions and, and our thoughts. Uh, so if you are feeling a certain type of way, try to hold it to yourself or not bring it to this person because you don't want to throw them off their horse, especially if they're focusing and trying to get you guys out of this situation here. Yeah. I just wanted to pull on that wild card. Yeah, there was, yeah, you see that little two of swords. There was a level of trust that you had in this person. And you still can have that. You still should have that. Like I said, there's nothing, you know, you the, the ship spaced a bit of turbulence, let's say that. No, it don't feel like that, but it is. It's just a bit of turbulence. I have faith that this person is capable of getting you out of this. But the king there, they definitely wanted to work on that. So, um. Yeah, hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. And it was very quick, straight to the point of a reading. I want to pull anything. I like I can't pull anything out from here. Um, so I don't want to keep repeating myself. But hopefully this gave you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. So if that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Taurus, you know, you've got one set of plans. This person has another set of plans. Uh, and uh, let's just see how this unfolds and plans out, shall we? So let's start the reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. 
this is your general love reading for March. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course. Vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. Guys, it is time stamped. You just click on the uh, description bar below. It should say start reading. Click on that and it will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on a camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Oops, there we go. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there sometimes, you know, could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And uh, of course, you just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we, we create our reality. So just give me a moment to finish laying the car. I'm just going to take this out. And I'll be back. So Taurus, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So just looking at the past. Hmm. Okay. The, the, the dynamics of this connection and the, just looking at the past as well, there seems to be, you're kind of, you're feeling trapped, definitely trapped. By this I would go so far as to say suffocated as well um, and it's to do with the fact that this person has something that they provide to you that could be financial I've got a lot of uh, pentacles here but it doesn't have to be but definitely there's this providing for you given to you um, I feel like for a lot of you it is financial uh, resources it doesn't have to be though but there's something that you're kind of, I don't want to use the word, I've been hesitant to use the word uh, dependent upon, but it's kind of like that. It's dependent upon this person for what it is that they can provide for you or what they're providing for you. Not to say that you want it, because that's what's making you feel trapped, is the fact that kind of restricts you, not even so much restricts you, it's like you can't move out of this because they are providing this for you. And for some reason, you can't provide it for yourself due to whatever circumstances. Maybe uh, you're just in a situation where you just are unable to do that at this time. But you're not feeling you're not feeling that you're not liking it. It's, but you you felt suffocated, felt trapped, even, um, and you you just wanted things to change. You're wanting, you know, things to change really. Where this person is very much content, very much happy to be able to provide for you because they have plenty whatever this is representing they have plenty of it so they're more than happy to do that but there is some underlying things that's going on there which we'll get to um let me just clarify well these are so yeah do you see that we've got the two i do apologize guys i'm recovering from a slight sore throat that's just been bothering me yeah see we've got the ten of pens ten of uh cups here which talks about emotional fulfillment so you provide emotional fulfillment for this person. So with that, they kind of choose to ignore the dynamic of what this is in terms of them providing whatever for you. And you're not really feeling comfortable with that. You Comfortable is a kind of understatement. You're not feeling, uh, you're feeling trapped like we explained. They, they, they can't see that. They don't acknowledge that. That's where that two is coming from. But they're definitely in a position to provide. I feel like for a lot, a lot of you, it is financial. Um, yeah, financially, but just bringing it to where it is at the moment, we've got the temperance. So there is this misalignment that's happening currently within this connection represented by the temperance. Um, there needs to be harmony put back into this connection. That's what it's saying. But for you, you're showing up as just thinking about, you're not liking where you're at. You're really not liking the dynamic here. You're not like in the fact that you're not able to freely move um and if it's a case of you leaving this relationship which i feel like it is for a lot of you 
uh, you're just feeling restricted. And because of that, you've not come to some form of solution as to how you're going to be able to just move out of this dynamic. So with that comes this just the thoughts, the, the, the visions of uh, how it's going to be if I stay, what's going to happen if I don't leave, what's going to happen if things don't change, how do I turn out? And then with that comes confusion. The thing is, is that looking at your challenge, we got this the 10 there that talks about ending. Now, you know that you want to end this. You know, I kind of picked up that already. You know that you want to put this to an end. But there's a, that's in your challenge. So you're having challenges around that. I feel like I can't talk. I do apologize, guys, if you're hearing my, my voice. But yeah, there's this ending that you're finding quite challenging to end or to put to an end. It's like you've decided upon it. So the three of wands, before that we have the two, which talks about making a decision. So you've decided upon it, but you're waiting for something. You're waiting for something. So like you're waiting maybe for your position to, or for you to get yourself into a better position for you to be able to leave this situation. Your person at the same time is trying to communicate. There's something around them, communicate. Communicating. Showing up as the A. There's something around them communicating with you maybe them finding it quite difficult to communicate with you or maybe they're just trying to communicate with you and you're ignoring them not paying attention not responding that type of thing but they're, they're <laughs> behind the scenes they're, they're stressing they are stressing you know they are definitely stressing about this I feel like you wouldn't know that, though, just based on their facade, just based on how they show up. They are stressing about this. I feel like they're picking up. Yeah, they're just kind of picking up on what's going on for you, really, which is you wanting to put an end to this situation. So what you're wanting is to be able to provide. We've got the six there. You wanting to be able to. I feel like for a lot of you, it very much is about finances. You're reliant on this person for for financial, maybe because you're you know, you've not secured yourself a job as yet, or maybe you're transitioning from one career to the next. Whatever the case may be, now it's like there's this importance for you around wanting to provide for yourself. Now, there is this... I feel like this is tied to you having... It's not compassion. It's not understanding it's you having appreciation there we go you have an appreciation for what this person has provided for you and it has been able to do for you maybe this person has put you in a position that you might have not have been had they not entered your life or had you not been in this connection or this relationship but now it's like it's become a burden for you and you're wanting to Kind of, it's not even so much that's becoming a burden for you. I feel like maybe there were some other issues that caused this relationship to get to this point. However, had it not been for you being reliant on them in some way, shape, or form, you would you would have already left, and that's kind of what prevented you, or has been preventing you from from doing that. But that's your focus. That's your focus. Like I said, they're stressing, and they have no intention of leaving this. Um, you know, this person wants to become more intimate with you. Their focus is very much on coming together, getting closer with the lovers. And they've decided upon that. I laugh. I shouldn't laugh. Oh, God. Uh, but I'm, I'm just thinking, sorry, Crosswatcher, but I'm just thinking, you know, I mean, you, they've acknowledged that there's something wrong. They've, uh, they're stressing, they're worrying, maybe they're choosing to not really look and see, look at and pay attention to what exactly is going on here with you. Um, um, you know, I'm not sure how to take that, really. I'm not sure whether to take that as, and I will clarify that, I'm not sure whether to take that as them just being set on getting what it is that they want or them just being oblivious and slightly naive to the situation at hand. Which they shouldn't be, but hey ho, you know. Sometimes it's like that. <laughs> Hermit. It's interesting. 
Uh -huh. Okay, so they, yeah, they, this person's a, a, aware. They're just choosing to ignore. The hermit talks about um, solitude, asking yourself those important questions, going deep within, analyzing, digesting, um, seeking answers. So there's acknowledgement that there's something going on. They're just choosing or they just chose to ignore it. Yeah, you know. So, um, but you're, it seems like you're going to do what you're going to do because you're just not, you're just ready to up and leave this situation. I feel like, like I said, I'm not going to repeat myself because we're going to wrap this up now. But, you know, I feel like that, this dynamic wasn't what stemmed you wanting to leave. I feel like it's, there's other things that was going on there. Uh, the, the just the, the information that's come up in the spread at the moment is more about what's preventing you or what's causing a challenge for you to be able to up and leave. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Now, Leo, you know, you might have signed the divorce papers. You might have had the last official conversation with this person. You might have, you know, said your last words, uh, but that still doesn't take away from the fact that this person still wants to try again. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Leo, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, March, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course uh, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is timestamp. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So just click on the uh, start reading timestamp in the description bar below. That will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, but it pick up on your story, stick around as there's sometimes, you know, could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we we create our own reality. So just give him a moment to finish saying these cards. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to take this in. And I'll do that. So Leah, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys, okay? I'm picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, just, just looking at the past, it seems like definitely something came out that shocked you. Leah, something came out that shocked you. Something that came out that rocked. You know, your foundation rocked. Yeah, your foundation. I feel like it has most definitely something to do with what this person was doing or had been doing. This is the past again. Um, but definitely something that came out that shocked you and has kind of rocked your world, rocked your foundation, which kind of made you have to make a choice about this. It was definitely a choice that you was thinking about making, a choice that you know you needed to make. Um, and this person was just kind of holding back. There's an element of them holding back, really holding back, keeping things to their self. Maybe that's information. I feel like that's more about information, um, keeping certain, maybe details of certain things, uh, just kind of to their self, but at the same time, checking up on you. I feel like that's more about checking up on you, making sure, trying to you know, um, see you or trying to, not so much though, because there's hesitancy there. There's a slow moving hesitancy there represented by the knight or the cubs. But just moving to where it is at the moment. 
I feel like, of course, we had this rocking of a foundation. I feel like that contributed to this. There's something around finances. So if this is a marriage or uh, that type of setup, then there is, I feel like this is to do with maybe a payout or someone maybe splitting finances. But there's something around finances currently when it comes to this. Something around finances, a payout or in some form or a, a splitting of finances or even the fact that you have to still communicate because of maybe a business or property that you have together. But there's something definitely around finances. But regardless of that, you're kind of moving or at least attempting to move forward. You're attempting to move forward. You've made the choice and you want to leave whatever it is in the past. And you're just kind of on the verge of kind of moving, moving forward now, moving away from, from that, or at least again, attempting to move away from that. I say attempting because there's a bit of a challenge around this, just looking at your challenge position. There's, um, I feel like you, you, you draw on the, the short end of the stick when it, when it, when it's come, if I can speak, when it comes to this, uh, maybe financial situation, something around you drawing the short end of the stick, coming out, not in the way that you would like. And, and, and that, and that kind of, let's put that there. Yeah. Unfairly treated, you not, um, uh, maybe getting what you're owed. Yeah, I feel like it's tied to this, this situation here, this, whatever this is representing. And you're finding it quite challenging as well. Still trying to hold on, maybe still trying to make a way. But very challenging, to say the least, where with your person, mm, they, they, they still have this emotional connection to you. They still have an emotional connection to you. Um, but we do have the three of cups. I feel like this person being a naughty person a naughty boy or a naughty girl um, and has been engaging in third party activities which is why uh, that card is coming up the shock or the tower moment which shocked you know this person kind of jeopardized their you know setup that they had you know their position within that as well the stability that they had um, so that engagement there so that's what, 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 that's why I feel like maybe this for a lot of you is a, a, well, not for a lot of you, some of you could be like a marriage type of thing, or at least living together or have a life set up like that in some way, uh, shape or form. This is a burden to you. It's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah. But you're wanting to still move forward because I feel like for a lot of you there is sometimes when we leave situations especially if it's unexpected we kind of get a feeling of feeling lost or what slows down the process of us moving forward the six is because we don't have a what's next we don't have the vision of what's coming or what we would like to come or what we think's going to come or how life's going to be so that kind of slows us down. Sometimes that brings us to a halt. You don't have that. You've got something. There's something that you can pull on to keep you moving forward uh, with the six there. There's something that you can pull on. If you're not recognizing it now, if you resonate with this spread, if you don't recognize that, take a look and search. Maybe journal, write out the thoughts, just kind of um, because there is something there that's going to help with this process for you. Yeah, there's something there that's going to help with that process for you. Very different from this person. Like I said, you're both both very shook. Blah, blah. Do apologize. <laughs> I can speak. It's my throat. It's my sore throat, guys. So just bear with. Very different. Like I said, very different from how this person is showing up. They're focused. Like I said, still very much have an emotional connection to you, and they're wanting an opportunity to continue this. They're wanting an opportunity to, regardless of how far this has come. So like I said, if, if, if you are dealing with a marriage for some of you, even if you've signed the divorce papers, even if you've gotten to the point where you're still, you're now, you know, you've, you've divided asset, 
<laughs> this person still still wants an opportunity and that might surprise you as well they're just wanting to figure out it's like i want to figure out how i'm going to handle this now this is big this is something big that's happened i want to try and figure out how to move how to handle this but they're very much focused on look at that ace the, the focus on that ace of pentacles very much focused on getting this back in some way rectifying this rejuvenated not even so much rejuvenating it's this um bringing this back from the dead so to speak because for you i feel like it's very much that i don't feel like it's there's any turning back i mean you know i could be wrong but just based on the spread as it stands you're um you're focusing on moving forward you know and um like i said getting this justice and this justice so hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity for those of you who don't know i do weekly uh, singles and love readings if that's something that interests you as they say subscribe to my youtube channel other than that guys have a beautiful beautiful day and i shall see you next week bye so aries you know this person's going to be doing some uh stalking and some spying on you um uh, but there's reasons there's reasons so let's start your reading and i'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on Hello Aries, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel with some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, Ma. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, and vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is time stamped. So if you look in the description bar below, just click on where it says start reading, timestamp there. It'll bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there's sometimes... You know, it could be messages for Al that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we we create our own reality. There we go. So give a moment to just take this in. And I'll be back. So Aries, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so looking in the past, seems like you had some form of epiphany, Aries, some form of realization. Um, I'm going to follow on that as well. Bear with Definitely an epiphany or rea realization, which is tied to this moving towards your emotional happiness, moving away from something or leaving something behind or leaving something undone. Uh, I, I feel like it's, uh, I, I get this feeling of not, not dealing, not wanting to deal with that anymore. It, it doesn't need to be dealt with. Whatever this, these cups are representing, because you're moving away from it. Something that you had maybe emotional ties to, or something that wasn't cleaned up, wasn't left in the way that you would like. Uh, that's for some of you, but there is this feeling of moving towards your emotional happiness. And it's tied to this epiphany, or was tied, this is the past, tied to this epiphany. This epiphany gave you these, this, uh, how do I put that? Because that's the uh, five of wands there. It speaks about challenges or uh, frustration, minor frustration or minor challenges. So there's something around, uh, there we go. Minor challenges to do with this building or opportunity to build something. So this is a pass again. So epiphany, and minor challenges with that, and this uh, opportunity to build something. So it ties with this moving towards this ninth cup, which, which, which speaks about emotional happiness. 
for the person, whoever this is, we have the six, which talks about long term and also childhood as well. Someone that you've known for a while, years, long term childhood, I would go so far as to say. But also seeing, and I'm going to pull on that now. I'm just going to clarify that. So we don't want to jump ahead of ourselves. Sometimes I like to just, yeah, shadow side. All right, little shadow side karma, which is judgment car. These cards are so cute. So we've got the Queen of Cups there. So there's something around them, judgment and um, having understanding or compassion or something around that. But definitely seeing this as long term or something or someone that they've had in their life for a while. This is you speaking. But there is this feeling of things turning around in their favor. Things turning around for them, coming in for them. Their ship's coming in. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is about things turning around. But again, this is the past. I'm going to pull on that. So I need to pull one more card on there. I'm going to get some clarity on this. Keeping things yourself. Holding things. Yeah. Feeling like things have come in, turning around, but for some reason, maybe not being able to act on that, not being able to act on that. Again, with this, this is a bit muddled for me, but usually when that happens, you guys can, you know, it, it hits for you guys anyway. So yeah, so there's, so there's that. The focus is on long term or someone that they've known IU for a while. Just bring it to where it is at the moment. There's hesitancy. Represented by the night. There's emotions there, uh, but hesitant. It's like you're both slow moving, hesitant to maybe approach, to talk, or even uh, discuss, but definitely hesitancy here based on the current state of the connection. You'll see in this as, and this is how you're showing up, opportunity to create something new. You're definitely seeing this as an opportunity to create something new. Like I said, it tying into this nine sorry the eight where we spoke about you moving towards your emotional happiness having an epiphany moving away from something and now it's like okay i'm in a space where i'm focusing on what this could turn into what this could be what this could mean where with your person they're showing up as the king so the king represents stability reliability loyalty this is you know the we're talking about the king of, of cups here. This is a family man or family woman. It's, it's a family energy, very stable. Um, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing, Aries. The challenge for you, though, there's something around communication. There's some form of challenge around communication and emotional connection. I feel like maybe it's communicating how you feel or communicating, yeah, how you feel and expressing your emotions and, you know, getting closer to this person but there's challenge around you being able to communicate maybe um yeah there's challenges around yeah something that's stopping that something that's preventing that some form of obstacle that's happening there what's interesting for your person though is that they're still dealing with some form of pain Something to do with an ending and a hurt and heartbreak here. As much as they're showing up as, as how they are. And I feel like that's tied to the, with a fortune, things turning around for them. I feel like they might have been dealing with this for a while, but that's still present. It's still present there, which means for me that this person is still maybe walking through this or not resolved this fully um, as yet. That's not a bad, bad thing. Depending on, you know, where you want to take this or how soon you want to take it. And then, of course, what they're willing to do or what they're looking to do moving forward. 
Um, but for you, yeah, so that's what they're kind of still dealing with. And maybe that's tied to this lack of communication, but there's something definitely around communicating or messaging or sending a message or receiving a message or something. You're still wanting to t- kind of uh, be cautious <laughs> about, about, about this, about this person, but there or something around you slowing things down or slowing things. It's not putting it to a stop, but just moving slowly on things because there is something that is, you feel is going to shock or surprise with the tower right there. Uh, Shock or surprise. Something around shock or surprise, you would know what that is. If this is resonating with you, you'll know what that shock or surprise is. And it's tied to you wanting to, or at least contributing in some way, or or you wanting to slow this down or being hesitant. Um, Yeah. I would love at this point to move into the extended reading that way I can start to clarify these, but your person, there's going to be some sneaky, sneakiness there, showing up as the the seven there, spying, stalking. (laughs) For me, there's very much a stalking and spying card, the seven of swords. A very sneaky energy. Um, With the moon, wanting clarity, not having clarity on something. Something around them wanting clarity. So they're snooping or sneaking or stalking because they're wanting clarity about something. They don't have that. So that's what they're seeking. So it's not a um, creepy type of stalking. Yeah, it's not a creepy type of stalking. So the question really is, 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 you know, at what point or how far is this person, how much is this this stuff going to be impacting them when it comes to this relationship and moving forward? Um, and then, of course, you know, where this moves to. So in April, I'll be releasing the extended version of the readings, guys, to look out for that as it stands. Hopefully, this has given you some full clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Bye. 